So we're testing the effects of temperature on the growth of bacteria. So we have plate that I've already inoculated for the room temperature uh, from these two uh, broth cultures. One is uh, Bacillus subtilis, the other is Staphylococcus aureus. So it's at room temperature, inoculated it, and we're going to incubate it now. Um, the temperatures that we're testing, it's not where we're incubating them, it's the temperature that the organism is going to be exposed to for a certain period of time. So this water bath is set at 40 degrees C. We're going to put the tubes in to make sure the lid's just light, not real loose, but not too tight so any heat can escape. And we're going to put the tubes in here. We're going to time it for 10 minutes. So this is 40 degrees C as a point of reference. Human body's 37 degrees C. We'll leave it in there for 10 minutes and then we remove it. We will streak it out on a plate and then we will move to the next temperature, which will be 80 degrees C. And then the final temperature will be 100 degrees C. At each of those temperatures, we will time it for 10 minutes and then afterwards streak it on a plate. All the plates will be incubated at 37 degrees C. And tomorrow we will look at it and see whether we had good growth, poor growth, no growth, see what the effect of the temperature is on. This is the results of the heat uh, tolerance of bacteria. We had tested two different strains of bacteria, Bacillus subtilis and Staphylococcus aureus. These are both gram-positive organisms. Bacillus subtilis does produce spores, Staphylococcus aureus does not. Uh, this plate, if we start here, the cultures were grown at room temperature, and we inoculate the plate. As you can see, Bacillus subtilis is the thicker um, organism, and it did outgrow and com compete against the Staph aureus, which is this thinner line here. Uh, so there's some competition going on there. The, the Bacillus obviously grew much better, but they both grew well at the room temperature. The sample after having it at 40 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and we streaked on the plate, once again, same two cultures. And so we have the Bacillus subtilis versus the Staphylococcus aureus. There's still some out competition going on here. The Bacillus outcompeted the Staph aureus, but the point is you still had growth of both cultures at 40 degrees Celsius. This third plate is at 80 degrees uh, Celsius for 10 minutes. So the cultures, once again, were put in a water bath at 80 degrees for 10 minutes and then streaked on the plate. As you can see here now, you're seeing the difference between the two bacterial species. Staphylococcus aureus did not grow at all. At 80 degrees, it was killed. Bacillus subtilis did survive. Now, this is where you may be seeing an effect that Bacillus has a spore. So the vegetative cells may also have been killed, but because they produce spores, the spores afterwards were able to germinate, and we see the growth there. The spores, production of spores allows uh, bacteria to be able to survive adverse conditions, and when favorable conditions return, then it can grow. <clears throat> so it's a survival mechanism. This last plate, the uh, culture was placed here at 100 degrees C, it's when water is boiling, for 10 minutes. And as you can see, at this point now, both cultures were killed. So boiling for 10 minutes was effective at destroying even the endospores that Bacillus produced.